here. We'll take some more over there. Yep, all right, good job. Okay, stand back a little bit. We got all the way down to Maple or Street. Really? Yes. On on Duke. Yeah. Oh from my Market gosh. all the way down to Maple. Holy heck! Yeah. And, that is uh, awesome. Though. Looks like five blocks. Here. Yeah. Thank Ooh. you, darling. Let's see, we got to think of Carl Anderson tonight. Oh, yeah. Carl Anderson for Judge. Mm -hmm. We're well, hungry tomorrow after church. Our church at Bethel at 350 West Prince Street. We're having an all-you-can-eat buffet oh, yeah? from one to three. That's going right in the calendar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's a unified relay that's going to run across the country to raise money for Special Olympics Incorporated. Wow. And we're going to raise $2,500 here? I'm going to raise $2,500, God's right. willing. And I'm we're going to help you. Well, thank I you. I said, and we're going to help you. Yep. Absolutely. Thank you. We have a cleanup at Vance Park on July 17th through yes. the 19th, the Cadoris Creek cleanup this we year. We were talking about that this morning, wondering yes. if the Cadoris Creek cleanup was going to address the hillsides. Yes, that is what we do. I saw that online. <laughs> That is good. This big pile of bags from the cleanup. This is actually where I started my work in the city. Right here. We had our first Cadoris Creek Festival, Cadoris Fest, in 1999. And we saw how dirty the creek was and said we got to do something we've got this beautiful area here we've got to show have a festival and start drawing people's attention to clean in the creek uh, it's amazing what people are making out of different stuff in york yeah we re represent people making things from everything out of wood glass metal plastic copper acrylic art different types of wall art sculpture pieces car part pieces, a little bit of reclaimed everything. Cool. Is artists represented here. I'm Steve Billett, co-owner of Ironic in downtown York, Pennsylvania, and we're counting on Michael Helfrich to lead York City. Thanks, Steve. You're welcome. I mean, it's um, a wonderful thing, you know, you could tell you would be a great um, person in any position for the simple fact that here we are on a Saturday afternoon and you're out walking and greeting and meeting the community still, you know, seeking information, seeking concerns and all like that. And I've always seen that as one of your better qualities and all like that. Thank and, you know, I always wish you the best. Appreciate it. And all like that. All right. Was I? I think I did okay. Okay. How many standing ovations do you need? Like, was, was there a standing ovation? <laughs> she was in the zone. I was in the zone. <laughs> Little Latino. And we were going, and they thought a bottle, an old dirty bottle, was gold. I mean, they were like, I found a bottle. I found a bottle. No. Can I get one? Put it in my bag. They were amazing. I don't know why it clogged up, but obviously there's a sewage leak from the bar. Uh, and it's so bad that it's flooded their entire bottom bar and it's going off into the stormwater drain, which then leads into Cadoris Creek. And that is highly illegal. Um, but they've got a company on site. They're waiting for a pump truck to come and be able to pump this stuff out. There's nothing that guy can do by himself. So they're doing all the right things. Just sometimes you can't uh, stop an accident fast enough for nothing to get in. Generally, if people are doing the right things, I'm more lenient with them and not just calling in to get them fined. Because getting people fined for an accident doesn't really do a lot. And so, you know, they're doing what they can to stop it. But yeah, you know, I get called into action at any time. You never know what's going to happen. You know, it's not just about showing up at a couple meetings a month and making laws. It's, it's about trying to fix problems. I'm your city councilman, Michael Halpert, and I'm working for you morning, noon, and night. I'm not here to tell you what you need. I'm here to ask you what you need. I'm here to represent you.